every data power appliance will have this sorry every data pass file management system will have this config directory within which it is going to create a file with the name same as your domain name see svr test is your domain name and hence it has created a same config file with that name and this is a file which is going to be updated as and when when data port when we create any object or delete any object on the appliance it is going to be updated by data port itself see as of now we haven't created any object on the appliance and hence the size of this file is zero and this file will give us an information of what is the present running configuration on the appliance okay so we don't use it anywhere it is just as a reference we can use to understand what is the present running configuration on this particular domain so every domain will have this particular file with the same name as it's your as the domain name okay config see in the checkpoints when we discussed as i said we took a backup of that and we saved it on the data part appliance itself correct what if i want this backup of a domain or entire appliance or a particular object into my local system that is what we call it as an export export is nothing but taking a copy of the service or an object or an entire domain or an appliance into a local machine for example let's say you can go to the control panel you can see there is an icon called export configuration so just hit on this export configuration it will ask you to choose what kind of a backup you want to take it up see whether you want to copy or move the configuration and files between one domain to other domain or you have to create a backup of one or more application domains or you have to create a backup of the entire system entire system is nothing but your entire data power appliance including all your domains or if you want to take an export configuration on files only from the current domain so depending upon the need you can choose this option hit on next it will ask you to choose the file name what you, what you want let's say i'll keep it as svr test backup so you can save it either it's as an xml file or as a zip file ganesh can i can you go to previous screen yeah. if you want? okay yeah so here mm -hmm. will it i will to take backup of entire system means it uh, comes with the default domain yes. too right yes it will have the default and also does it take certificate or file system also like no this configuration uh, doesn't allow you to take the certificates okay we have to usually that's the reason we make use of svn to handle these service versioning for all these certificates management we use svn or any repository okay. so where will we update everything over that okay so only whatever is on file system it won't come there right yes it's only a configuration that we are going to take it okay 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 yeah and you can choose see inside this domain let's say i have chosen it as svr test domain and now i can choose whether i want everything to be backed up or only a few objects For example, let's say I will choose it as AAA policy. For example, if I had any AAA policy and if I have chosen it, only that will be taken as a backup. So, which means within a domain, you can choose which object you want to take a backup. Okay. So, if you want everything to be taken as a backup, you can choose it as all classes, all objects. So, all the objects which are there in your domain. everything is going to be taken as a part so just select your objects and hit on next and it will ask you to download so you can see download so once you hit on the download button automatically whatever the configuration that you have taken as an export that will be downloaded into your local system 